This home is up for sale and the homeowner asked me to switch this sink out for stainless steel. The buyer requested a new sink be put in as part of the agreement. They did not like this little rust spot down at the bottom. I got a whole video on how to get rid of that. So if they just cleaned off that rust, the buyer probably wouldn't have had a problem. They wouldn't have to do this whole project, but it is what it is. So we're going to take out the sink and put in a new one. Looking underneath, there's a lot of things we have to disconnect. Here, 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 and probably somewhere else. And underneath, you can see how the sink is clamped to the countertop with these screws. So here's an atom tip. These valves are notorious for dripping once you've messed with them. So don't shut them off here. Don't turn off the water by spinning these handles. Go to the main shutoff valve for the house and turn the water off there. And that way you'll stop yourself from having to replace these. Because once they start dripping, uh, you're just going to have to swap the whole part. So save yourself that trouble. Once you've shut off the water, drain any remaining water that's left in the pipes. And then you disconnect the hot and cold lines. Get some rags ready because you will have water still in the pipes. Unplug the disposal. And take note of this. You see how the pipe leading from the disposal is slanted downwards? Make sure you keep that slant. It's, it can't be sloping towards the disposal because it will mean that the disposal will stay full of water and it'll rust out quicker. So when you're hooking it back up, make sure there's a slight slant away from the disposal. This hose at the top is the drain from the dishwasher. We're going to take it off. All of these drain connections are meant to be done by hand. You do not use a wrench on these. This is a neat tool that I'll tell you more about it at the end of the video, but what it does is help you lift and attach the disposal. It's like a wrench and a holder at the same time. Insert a couple screwdrivers or even the wrench they give you into these slots and give it a quarter turn. Hold on to it because it will fall. Disconnect these and this is going to be full of water. That's the pea trap and it's gross water as well. So get a bucket ready. Okay, this pipe is going to lead right into the sewer. So to stop the funk from getting into your kitchen, shove a rag in there. Now we're undoing these clamps. Once you loosen it, it'll fall off. It's going to be several all the way around. With the clamps off, you can pull out the sink and depending on the amount of silicone, yours might be a lot tougher to get off. Do a little clean up around the edge. This is the sink they want to put in. For me, I would have spent more money on it. It's really thin, so it's going to dent easier. It's also flimsy. When you move the handle of the faucet, it's going to flex the sink. I recommend spending more money, but it is what it is. Before you do anything, dry fit it in. Make sure it all fits fine. Next up is plumber's putty. We're going to take a chunk of this. It's kind of like Play-Doh. So we're going to make a ring, put it around the drain, and use a lot. It's going to squish out and fill in all the little cracks and voids so that the water doesn't leak out. Now this stuff does make grease marks on the stainless steel, but you just clean that off later. Rubber gasket, paper gasket, metal nut. First tighten it by hand and then you can use a wrench. While you're tightening it, look straight down. Make sure it's all lined up. You don't want it off center. Flip it around and you should see the plumber's putty oozing out on all sides. If it's not, you probably didn't put enough. So you're going to tighten this and then let the putty ooze out and then tighten it again and let more putty come out. Do that a while until it feels like it's really snug and tight. And can you spot the mistake I made? <laughs> There's no food that's going to go through this drain. Let's see how it's blocked. So I have to remove this later. Not a big deal, but it's just easier to do all these attachments and parts while it's on the kitchen floor, not when it's up under the sink and you're working upside down. This is a different style of clamps. I'm getting them all ready before I put the sink on the counter. Here I put a bead of silicone and the base plate so that water doesn't leak underneath out under the sink. This is the nut that secures the faucet. Next step, you're going to want 100% silicone. With a stainless steel sink, you're going to use clear. And we're putting a generous bead all the way around the edge. 
normally do the silicone last. I just forgot a couple connections here. These are new water lines. The old ones were too short, so be prepared. You probably need new water lines. Okay, now carefully put the sink in. Act kind of quick because it's easier to clean off the silicone when it's still fresh. Tightening the new clamps. Hooking back up the hot and cold. Now I'm loosely fitting these pipes back together. I'm not going to tighten anything. Now the problem is this sink is a little higher than the last, the base of the sink. It's not as deep. So this pipe here is probably going to be a problem. I'll have to get a couple more parts. But I'm just loosely fitting everything together. Here I am putting on the correct drain. This one's for a disposal. And this is the hard part. You have to snap on a metal ring. This is a lot easier when you're doing it with the sink on the kitchen floor. It also helps if you have an assistant pushing down from above. It keeps the drain from moving. Here's this disposal lift tool again. It goes on like that and it makes it easy to pick up and attach. Give it a twist and make sure it's all the way tightened. All right, time out for just a second. I'm editing this video and I want to make sure this part is absolutely clear and I don't think it is from the footage that I filmed. So I'm going to explain it right now. When you're tightening this, there's a little lip on the threads. Okay, you want to make sure you get this part right because if it's not totally connected all the way past this little notch right there, there's this little lip. So when you're putting on your connection, it comes up onto this ridge. There's three of them. It spins, you're turning it, turning it, and it's going to go over this little bump right there. And uh, once it's over that tiny bump, then it's locked in. Let me show you my current disposal under my sink. This part is on the disposal. This part is the sink mount, okay? It might be hard. It's going to want to stop before it goes all the way over the lump. So you can get some pliers and squeeze that together if you need to. And that way you're going to make sure that it is secure. All right, back to the video. Yep. Now that it's hooked up, I can see this is too short. I'm going to need a longer piece. Luckily, I had a little extension. And now the pipe from the disposal seems to be a little bit too long, so I'm going to cut that off. Loosely attach everything together. Don't make it really tight yet. Just once everything's at ease and all put together, then you can tighten it securely. This brass one, you can use a wrench. Everything else, do by hand. You can plug in the disposal and put back in the dishwasher drain. And we are done. Again, you can see those greasy fingerprints uh, from the plumber's putty. Use stainless steel sink cleaner and you can get all that cleaned up. So what do you guys think? It looks like fun, huh? It's actually not so bad. And if any of you have tips, something maybe I've missed or you got another way of doing things, go ahead and leave them in the comments section because a lot of people read those and you can help other people out. Um, I wanted to do a giveaway, which I don't think I've ever done on this channel. Um, disposal lift, actually it's dispose a lift. They sent me several others to give away to the viewers. So if you want one of these and uh, you want me to mail it to you, I'll do that. Uh, if you go to my Instagram on my, uh, what do they call this, main page, channel page on YouTube, there's a little Instagram icon right here. Click that, uh, follow me on Instagram, and then send me an email with your address so I know where to ship it to. And uh, I'll ship them out until I run out of these. And uh, if it's something you guys want. And I think this is uh, DisposalLift.com. I don't know anything about them. Um, they are not a sponsor. I get no kickback. There's really nothing in it for me. But they were nice and sent me some that I could hand out to you guys. So tell me what you think, if you like uh, the tool or not. It's kind of handy. I don't know the price, and I don't know how much I'd pay, but it is helpful. Some people use car jacks getting the um, disposal up because you're, you're almost straight arm lifting some of those disposals and they are heavy, so it is handy, but uh, depending on the price, I don't know how, how worth it is, but you guys can check it out. And the next video, we will be doing a sponsored video 
We're gonna be doing the uh, Lowe's garage makeover clean out. I'm gonna be finishing the garage walls and putting in a little workspace. So that'll be a lot of fun. And I uh, thank you to Lowe's for helping this channel. And that is it. I'll see you next time, guys. Take care. I'm on the job site and all of a sudden Colin shows up at the back door. Wandered off from home. How'd you find me? <laughs> you left. Mom's going to be worried about you.